Hi everyone, nice to see you again for episode 4 in the Disneycast 15th anniversary series. Today I'd like to time travel with you through the Cars history to find 15 iconic characters that have been dominating the franchise the most. I won't rank them so don't wonder about the order. To start with there is of course Lightning McQueen. His story has been touching millions of children who watched him changing from a self-centered racer to a loyal and caring townie, who eventually faced the end of his racing career and becomes a new talents trainer. We've had many amazing, touching and heartwarming wo moments with him and in my opinion we should say thank you for all those experiences. The next character we should always keep in mind is Mater. He's not only humorous but also the best friend you can have. From Tractor Tippin over an adventurous secret mission up to the best supporting character in Cars 3, we've accompanied Mater and have seen lots of his different character traits. He's still a popular character and he has successfully jumped into people's hearts. In a totally different way, we've met Francesco Bernoulli. He may be forgotten since Cars 3, but he was one of the most important characters in the second film. He may actually not be the most charming guy, but for sure there is something good under his hood. It's fixed in his mind to always compete, but I guess he likes McQueen a lot though. Someone who definitely likes Francesco is Sally. What I appreciate a lot is her sense for enjoying every second of her life while never stopping to dream. She's loyal to her own values and is always there for the ones she loves. And although her role in the second and third film is limited, she leaves something you can remember. Talking about remembering, I see the next character on my list, Doc Hudson. He was one of the most important characters for sure until he died before the events of Cars 2. But even though he has died, he remains lively in a way. His legacy can be seen especially in Cars 3, when we see him in flashbacks and when his importance for McQueen can be experienced in a whole new way. But Doc wouldn't have been Doc if he hadn't had his old trainer Smokey. He has been one of the most important characters in Cars 3 and took McQueen back to his roots. His charm cannot be compared with others and his whole appearance is just stunning. Stunning like Finn McMissile, Great Britain's best top secret agent. He has impressed children with his spectacular karate actions, escape scenes and a cool head in almost every situation. Finn is great and would also be welcome to appear in any future Cars production. Many Cars in the films are loyal souls and so is Mac. He may not be a main character in the franchise, but I would underrate his significant role if I didn't mention him in this video. Mac is there wherever Lightning wants to go and he does whatever he needs to do in order to arrive where the travel takes him. I am sure that if Mac could fly on his own, he'd even accompanied his friend to the World Grand Prix. He couldn't, but Luigi and Guido could. I know there are actually two characters but they are inseparable so I will talk about them together. Luigi and Guido are there in all three Cars movies. If it's Los Angeles, London, Tokyo, Thunder Hollow or Fireball Beach, those loyal and cute characters don't let their friend down. It feels like this loyalty list becomes longer and longer because the next iconic characters are Dusty and Rusty Rusties. These brothers who founded their company in a garage play an important role for Lightning's racing career. They went through heaven and hell with him and didn't only left him surprised and sad when they left him alone in the Rusty's racing center. I hope you enjoyed the video so far and are still listening passionately so that we can now continue with the last 5 iconic characters. You won't argue that Chick Hicks is the least popular character for vehicles in the Cars universe but he definitely is among children. He didn't appear in Cars 2 but showed up in Cars 3, still the same bad guy as in the first film. He has always been supporting the events during the films with his bad behavior and self-centered character for sure. Chick is the complete opposite of the king, of whom he'd like to be the successor. The king is a legend on the track and even a severe accident cannot change his strength. Although we've only seen him for some minutes in Cars 3, it was great to see this iconic character back on the screen. And that's what we can say about Daryl Cartrip. He appeared in all three Cars movies and commented on any race that was held except for the Demolition Derby, of course. I like his passion for racing as well as his beautiful character design a lot. So did I like Tex Dinoco. This golden Cadillac can't be forgotten for sure and he doesn't forget things either. 
Even in Cars 3, he secretly dreams of being Lightning's sponsor, and in the end, he even reaches this goal when he buys Rastis and can call both McQueen and Cruz part of the big Dynaco family. He knows what virtue means and is a great car of honor for sure. This makes it even more special for Cruz to be sponsored by Dynaco. At the beginning of Cars 3, no one would have thought that Cruz becomes a racer eventually, except for all diecast collectors. She can be annoying for sure, but she can be surprising too. She's talented, motivated and definitely belongs to the 15 most important characters in the Cars franchise. And this is already it with today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I am keen on knowing your thoughts about the mentioned characters and maybe also not mentioned ones you consider as important. So tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye till the next video.